Hello friends and welcome back and in this lecture we are going to discuss about object oriented principle called as constructors so in this constructors are used to construct an object which means that if you have an object and you want to initialize an object with some values and you want to do some operations of a on an object before the object is been sent to the uh, before the object is been created that time we want to write some logic that logic can be written in the constructors of the program so a constructor can be created by using the class name followed by the function brackets and the block break a bracket and the block so here you can see there is a uh, the constructor syntax is similar to method but the difference between constructor is that the constructor will not return any anything but eventually it will return an instance of an object but in the code we will not return anything and the next thing which you need to understand about constructor is uh, the two different types of constructors which are available the first one is the default constructor for example if you are not providing any constructor in your class there will be a default constructor which is provided by the compiler so that when we create an object we will be able to successfully create the object so you will see already seen the usage of constructor in object creation so object creation time we will call the constructor to create the object using new operator and next thing which you need to discuss is the parameterized constructors so parameterized constructors means constructors can have arguments also so if a, if a big class is there and if a class is there and it has some several fields so for each fields you can initialize them by passing the parameter as them as parameters so to do that you have to declare a parameterized constructor but be careful with with declaring a new parameterized constructor it will break the old old code if you have if you remove a if you create a parameterized constructor then the default constructor will not be available and you have to always use the parameterized constructor so if an old code where they are using the default constructor that code will break so to avoid that you have to have a default constructor as well as a parameterized constructor in your code if it is required to have a parameterized constructor so this is it for the theoretical aspects of constructors now let us see some practical programs now let us see a simple program based on a object called a student object i'm creating and first i will create a student class and to see the constructor how we will create constructors everything in this section we will cover in this program we will cover so let us see the program now here created two fields id and name and branch and now following that i have created three different constructors the first one is the non non parameterized constructor or non default to param default constructor where there is no parameter and second type is the parameterized one uh, with the id id being the one parameter and third one is can taking all the three uh, uh, fields into the as its parameters this is how we can initialize we can see the how i am initializing in the under parameters context constructors we can use the particular variable uh, the field with to initialize the with the, it with the parameter which is supplied so that's how we will initialize a constructor and initialize an object using constructor now let us see the uh, main method to see how the program is getting involved so here in the main method of the program uh, I assemble one program and in this program I am just uh, I created a two uh, three student objects I am creating first one with uh, calling the default constructor where they are just I am put only a system dot out dot print and message and next uh, I am calling uh, the id num id a constructor with only one uh, one parameter and then finally i will call the param constructor with the three parameters so that's how we will call the constructors while creating an object now let us see the output for this 
here you can see the default parameter default constructor is invoked then the in, uh, single parameter constructor is invoked finally the all parameter constructor with all the parameters has been called that's it for this program we will see with another program now let us see another program based on constructors so how we can how this the use case of constructor we can see in this example so i have created an employee object i have declared some fields also a static member i have declared you can see and in this example i am trying to access the static member using the constructor i have declared a constructor here and and using the constructor i am trying to access the static members you can access the static members successfully and also you can invoke the other methods non static methods also you can invoke invoke within the constructor so constructor is looks like a method only but the only the difference is the that it will not return anything and the constructor name should be same as the class name now let us see the uh, our main method to know how we are invoking this program so here in the main method i am creating an object and you can see i am in the first line i am creating an employee employee object and passing in the parameters and the second line you can see i am trying to create an object using the default constructor but it is not possible because whenever you create a parameters constructor the default constructor will go and this is why you have to be careful while using the parameters constructor so whenever you introduce a parameters constructor the old code we have to check when check whether anywhere the default constructor is been used and if it is used then we have to provide a default constructor in the class so that there will be no code breaking so this is the solution for that now let us see the output to see how the values is getting printed so here you can see the values are getting printed the print method is getting invoked and that's it for this section on this lecture on constructors so here we learned about constructors how we can create a constructor how these variables values are getting initialized in the constructor and how constructor can access uh, static members also and how we uh, we have seen about all about the constructors so thank you for watching this lecture please continue watching the series